in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Brother, you need to pray against depression. Αδερφέ, χρειάζεται να προσευχηθείτε ενάντια στην κατάθλιψη. Pray against that depression. Προσευχήσου ενάντια στην κατάθλιψη. Because many times, as you are happy, before you know it, something will happen. You will just find no joy anymore. Ενώ εκεί που είσαι χαρούμενος, you find no happiness. Nothing fulfills you. And, and, and you try very hard to, to, to come back, to come up, to be happy, keep yourself happy. Εκεί που είσαι χαρούμενος βρίσκεις τον εαυτό σου κατεθλιμμένο και προσπαθείς πάρα πολύ για να είσαι χαρούμενος, αλλά δεν μπορείς. So immediately I pray for you. This is the message I have for you. This spirit of depression is, is attacking you. Αυτό το πνεύμα της κατάθλιψης σου επιτίθεται. All, all other, what you are complaining, για όλα τα άλλα που παραπονιέσαι, consequences. Είναι συνέπειες. You understand? Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. the doctor has not yet discovered this problem. Μπορεί ο γιατρός να μην ανακάλυψε ακόμα αυτό το πρόβλημα. But you yourself, you know. Αλλά εσύ το ξέρεις. Uh, when it comes, όταν έρχεται, there is nothing to make you happy. Δεν υπάρχει τίποτα που να μπορεί να σε κάνει χαρούμενο. All right? Yeah. So Jesus loves you. Ο Ιησούς σε αγαπά. And that's why he brought you here to put an end to this problem in your life. Γι' αυτό σε έφερε εδώ να βάλει right? ένα yeah. τέλος. So, let us agree in prayer. Στο πρόβλημά σου. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστό. Be free in the name of Jesus. Ελευθερώσου στο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Every chain of darkness in your life. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Κάθε λυσίδα του σκότους να σπάσει στο όνομα του Ιησού. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Thank you, Lord. Σε ευχαριστώ, Κύριε. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Σε ευχαριστώ, Ιησού Χριστά. Amen. You are free. Είσαι ελεύθερος. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Το όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Put, put your hand. Βάλε το χέρι σου εκεί. In the name of Jesus. Στο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. So, sister. Sometimes you find it difficult to go to the toilet. Κάποιες φορές σου είναι δύσκολο να πας στο τοαλέτα. Yes. Ναι. It may take two days, three days before you go to the toilet to to relieve yourself. Yes. Μπορεί να χρειαστεί να πάν να περάσουν δύο τρεις μέρες για να πας στο τοαλέτα. Many of us they may have the same problem, okay? And they need to take some tablet to flush their system. Μπορεί και άλλοι από μας να έχουμε το ίδιο πρόβλημα να πάρουμε κάποιο χάπι. Your own case is different. Άρα, η δική σου περίπτωση είναι Because διαφορετική. this thing, I'm seeing it, if it continues like that and you are not free today, you will be free today. Okay. But if you are not free, this thing can lead to cancer. Αν δεν ελευθερωθείς, αυτό θα οδηγεί σε καρκίνο. Of the colon. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, we are going to, to break this curse. Okay, this is curse. Αυτό είναι κατάρα. So, God loves you. Ο Θεός σε αγαπά. We're going to pray. This will be the end of it. Okay. And two, this affects your emotion, emotional life. Αυτό επηρεάζεται τη συναισθηματική σου ζωή. Είναι down. Είναι πάνω κάτω. You will be either too happy or too sad. Either you will be laughing or you will be crying. Θα είσαι μια χαρούμενη. Okay, so Jesus loves you. Put your hand on your stomach. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Be free in the name of Jesus. Ελευθερώσου στο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name. Σε ευχαριστώ Κύριε στο όνομα του Ιησού. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Σε ευχαριστώ Ιησού. We are here in the synagogue church of all nations in Thessaloniki after the Sunday service and we would like to hear from your experience today. First of all, please introduce yourselves. Tell us your name and where you come from. Yes, my name is Chris. I'm a Pastor from Los Angeles, California. My name is Stacy. Please continue by sharing your experience with us today. Well, from the beginning of the service all the way to the end, the worship, the the, uh, the singing, everything, everything was just a great service. And then when Pastor came out, I think really just took it off the top, right? No? 
Yes. Um, the whole time I kept telling my husband that I feel very at home, very comfortable. I could feel the presence of God from beginning to end. And um, I just knew that God was going to meet us here. And I was looking forward to the prayer line. What do you have to say about the anointing of God that you experienced today? The anointing was powerful, especially the word uh, that was given to myself and, and to my wife um, by the pastor. Uh, it was a word that was given to me that I didn't even have on my my card. Um, and so it was, it was very specific and very, very intentional. Um, the anointing was very strong. Even as we were standing in the prayer line, I was just wanting to cry, felt very um, touched by God. And, and um, I knew that God was moving even in other people's lives. And it was just beautiful to be able to witness that. Amen. And uh, we, we saw you partaking in the prayer line. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, as far as the prayer line, um, again, he he hit on something that I didn't even have on my 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 card, um, and it was on depression, fighting and praying against the spirit of depression. And that's something I've been struggling with the past couple of years is fighting really just a, a deep, heavy darkness within my life. And so it just really confirmed where I'm at today and and, and where God's going to take me. So I, I'm leaving here set free, delivered. They told me I needed to pray against a spirit of depression and that and that within my life, I always seem to be let down or I, I'm, I'm happy, I'm joyful, and then I find myself down and depressed because of a situation that happens uh, within my life, whatever it may be, and that, that's exactly exactly how I feel. And uh, how do you confirm uh, this spirit of depression, this cloud of depression in your life, and how does this affect your daily life and your ministry? Uh, affects my daily life ministry and my and my marriage in, in the way of very unstable, um, I'm up, I'm down, I'm up, I'm down. People don't know if I'm if I'm in a good having a good time or I'm having a bad time or they can see it on my face and and so whenever I'm sensing that uh and people can see within my life and it affects my marriage as well, uh the way I treat my wife, the way I talk to her, but I know that today it's 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 done. So we'd like to ask your wife, uh we would like to hear from you. How do you confirm what your husband said concerning the prophecy he received? Definitely the prophecy that he received was right on. Um, I think the part that stood out to me the most was that the man of God said that he tries very hard to find happiness in different things and that nothing is able to make him happy. Nothing satisfies. And I, I see that in my husband a lot. He tries different things, you know, that are positive, working out, um, traveling, things like this, but nothing really would satisfy him and it was always hard to keep him happy. Uh, we also know that you also received a, a word of prophecy. So can you tell us what the man of God told you? So my prophecy was something I didn't expect at all. Um, it was concerning my health. He said that um, I have a hard, uh, that I have struggles with using the bathroom, and um, that is true. I didn't wasn't thinking about it. I didn't come here for that reason, but it is something that over my life I've had different issues with. But I always just assumed it was just the way it was. It's just kind of normal for me. Um, but his pro the prophecy was that if if I don't receive healing, that in the long run, it could cause something very serious, could cause colon cancer, if I'm not mistaken. I definitely could see how if, you know, in the long run, it could really affect me. Specifically, the man of God mentioned that it may take you two or three days to use the bathroom. Is that true? Yes, there's different times um, where that that's pretty normal, two days. Um, there have been times in the past where three days, and like I said, I just kind of got used to that. So, um, but yeah, it is true. The man of God also mentioned that uh, it affects your emotional life. Once you're happy, then you're sad. What do you have to say about that? I think that's very true. I didn't know that that would be that could be a cause of it, but I have had issues with that emotionally, especially since having my my daughter and being married, very up and down. Um, that that is true. We well, thank God for what you received today, and I would like to ask both of you if you believe that the prophetic word you have received today has brought an end to these problems you have been facing in the past. Yes, yes, I believe. Yes, yes. Amen. We thank God. And uh, we would like to hear what is your message that you would like to take back home in your country and share it with others. 
just to believe that God is able to identify problems and, and that the, he has a solution for the problems that we face. And sometimes we don't even know what those problems are rooted in, but God is able to show us and he's able to reveal that through prophecy, through um, prayer. Um, and so I, I believe that that's what the message I'm going back with is that the problems that people face, that they are spiritual and that God is able to intervene. That sometimes the side effects are not the root cause of the problem. And so really identifying um, and targeting in on the, the root of the problem. It wasn't my headaches. It wasn't my stomach, but it was a spirit of depression. And so really just being able to identify and, and key in on and target in on, on really the root of the issue. So you told us that the man of God uh, mentioned that uh, all these things that you had written on your placard were just the consequences. So what do you have to say about the pain in the stomach that you had written and the, your headaches. That after the word of prophecy and uh, identifying really the root of it, that I'm set free, I'm delivered, and those symptoms and those side effects are not going to be coming back no more. Amen. And what is your promise to God Almighty who today set you free from the troubles you had been facing? My promise is to take better care of my body, to be more active, to use the body that God has given me for the ministry, um, to just be more um, committed and enthusiastic about serving the Lord. Um, to pray and that the same healing and deliverance I received today, I'm going to bring and I'm going to give that to others. Amen. We are very glad for what you received today. And we want to encourage you to make the Word of God the standard for your life for your daily routine, for every conversation. Use the Word of God in every conversation so that you may maintain what you have received today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.